Shalom, giving all praise here. How about Shalom? Shalom, 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 not in the Bible at all. Vocab Malone Street Apologist. This was put up uh, three and a half years ago, and I just want to play this part here. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to make this long, but uh, matter of fact, this is 15 minute. The 15 minute mark. I'm going to come over here first. Bear me for a minute. Okay, it's right about here. Okay, so he mentions myself uh, around about the 15-minute mark, a little before that. But he mentions somebody else that came up under uh, Bishop Nathaniel, which is a deacon out of Yale on, uh, concerning reincarnation, which he learned from... Uh, Bishop Nathaniel. So this is um, vocab speaking. He said this, quote, regeneration is spirit returning back to earth once you pass away in your first life or previous lives. Are there verses against that understanding? Yes, there are. 1 Corinthians 15.20 is one of them. Scripture teaches that what happens after death is a resurrection not a reincarnation. 1 Corinthians 15.20 is a clear passage on what happens to the human soul after death. Quote, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. And what's the difference between resurrection and uh, re reincarnation or regeneration? Resurrection is simply when the body that dies comes back to life in that same body. Perfect example is uh, Lazarus. Lazarus was raised by the by our Lord. Also, the saints that went back into Jerusalem, I believe they went back into Jerusalem. They were resurrected. So when the people seen these saw these people, their relatives and friends, they remember this guy died two years ago. That guy died two months ago. That guy died five years ago. And they're back, and when they came back, they never, they didn't die. They they lived out a full life, and then they died again. They didn't, they didn't just come up and disappear. They came back and went and lived a normal life. Whether some of them lived another 15 years, another 30 years, that's resurrection uh, vocab alone, as opposed to. Uh, reincarnation or regeneration regeneration reincarnation the word reincarnation not mentioned in the scriptures but regeneration is mentioned in the scriptures and it means exactly the same it means re regeneration can also be called reincarnation the carny is the flesh the gene is the seed which is flesh there are proteins mainly proteins and then there's a spirit. You have the elements to make up the human body. I'm not no scientist. So he's saying, he's using this one about the resurrection. Yes, there is a resurrection. The Lord was raised. He wasn't reincarnated. He was raised, resurrected. Res, erect. Res meaning thing. As you get the word residue, thing, erect. To stand up. All right. So now let's jump over here. And I did this video because I was watching a, a video. I was in the middle of a video that the Apostle Gabar had put up. <clears throat> Lamb backing off of the video that I did <clears throat> concerning reincarnation. Because some individual, some brother asked me, is reincarnation biblical? So I said, let me make a short video. And I showed him, I went to my page and there was four videos that popped up within the title was uh, Reincarnation. 
So if you watch them four videos, you watch one of them, you get it. But I suggest you watch all four, four of them. And for you new cats in there, you should watch all those videos. Because you may get tested. You know how we had those tests sometimes at the end of camp. So I want all your hands going up. Okay, so let me come over here. Bear with me for a minute. Ah, uh, we're gonna start right here. Finally got my first flat top. Triple A said commercial. they were four hours away. See, vocab is all be about money. Keep Never in a consistently two. monotheistic system. In short, reincarnation is a pagan, not biblical idea. Another verse to consider. He says reincarnation is a pagan, whatever he said, idea, philosophy, or whatever, which is true. Um, in other cultures, among the pagans, do they do they not have sex? Yes. Um, is it a fact that Hebrews have sex and Christians have sex? Yes. So you can say having sex is a pagan custom. Yeah, it is a pagan custom, but it's, it's something that we do as well. So don't don't try to be slick. Don't don't try to be slick woolly over here. Reincarnation is a pagan custom. Is a is a pagan beliefs a belief system, yeah. The Indians, yeah. That's a that's an Indian, Hindu, whatever. Yeah, but it's also something that we know to be true. Sitter here is Matthew eleven, verse eleven. Let me read it to you. Truly, I tell you, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Now, I'm really not sure if that verse would make a lot of sense if John the Baptist had already been born before, and in fact, been born again and again and again. Because remember, one Western reincarnationists aren't claiming John is only Elijah. They are appealing to that situation, of course, as a proof text for reincarnation, though, in principle. They believe that John would have actually been multiple people reincarnated, not only Elijah. In fact, it's said that the founder of One West, 1969 is the date that happened, commonly called Abba Bivens, as he neared his death, his students received a revelation that Bivens himself was John and therefore Elijah reincarnated. Interestingly enough, it said that. Of course, he's a. Uh... Elijah reincarnated, he came back as Abba. To fulfill what? Malachi uh, 4. What is it? Mal Malachi 4, verse 4 and 5. Matter of fact, let me go to that. And I'm going to start the first verse because it's a short uh, chapter. Malachi. This is for you new cats. Malachi 4 and 5. Behold, I'll you, Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. The great and dead, dreadful day of the Lord is, was not talking about during the time of the, the Messiah 2,000 years ago. And we're going to go to the commentary on this one. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the father, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Because he's ultimately he's going to smite the earth with a curse. So when was this, when did this take place? Because Elijah had to come back and restore the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. We are our fathers. We are our children and re reincarnated. Read uh, Exodus. It's also in Deuteronomy. Uh, but it's but it's in Exodus uh, 20 verse 
verses 4 and 5, that you pay for your sin, your sins that you commit in, in one life when you die, sometimes you pay for that sin when you come back. That's reincarnation right there. Now, what I'm going to do is, so this had to be fulfilled. Now you have the IUIC saying that we don't, and, I, and you can go to the video, go to, uh, here's a receipt, go to uh, IUIC Passover, was that 20, uh, Passover 20, 20, 22. That's the year before he came in on the horse. Because they surprised, they figured he wasn't going to make it. And then they surprised, he, he came out the hospital, he was in the hospital, he was doing bad. It looked like he was going to go to the spiritual realm. So I believe, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I believe it was actually the 2023. Uh, the, the Passover that happened last year, 2023. They, 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 he came in on a horse and they said, well, we don't know if you're uh, Pete, the Apostle Peter or Elijah. Meaning, we know you're one of them. You're either Peter, the Apostle Peter, or uh, Elijah the prophet. He didn't restore every. When he came on the scene, I knew I was an Israelite. There was thousands of people that knew that they were Israelites and were speaking on the street. I spoke on the street. I was in this thing about five plus years before he even thought about being an Israelite. So how can this guy be uh, Elijah? You know, when we already knew they were, this the Elijah is going to restore the fathers to the children, the children to the fathers. So he's clearly going off on that. And when they made when they, when the men made that statement, he should have corrected them. Look, men in GMS say to all, we believe you're Paul. I'm gonna say you don't know who the hell I am. I don't know who I am. You don't know. You don't know who I am. You don't know who you are. Then they said, you can, you're either Elijah or Peter. Well, that's the, well, then that, that, the whole seven, Masha, Ariya, Yaikwa, they're just a bunch of Negroes that came in. They, they're not men of the Lord because Masha is supposed to be Peter. So why didn't you, Bishop Nate, jump up and say, no, I'm not Peter? Because, well, you call Peter the devil and not too many words. You had a dream that he told you to put pork juice in the rice and you said, I knew this man wasn't a man of the Lord based upon your dreams. The scriptures say dreams lift up fools. Sometimes dreams are visions and sometimes dreams are because he had a bad tuna fish sandwich as the saying go, goes. So somebody had to, somebody had to uh, fulfill uh, Malachi, Malachi uh, uh, 4 verses 5 and 6 I said I was going to go to the top matter of fact let me do this ok final admonition for behold the days come that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yeah all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up say if your howl of hosts that it shall, that it shall leave them neither root or branch. What is a branch? If you, if you go to, if you go to uh, Romans the 11th chapter, it speaks about Israel being grafted back in, being a wild olive tree being grafted back in. You can graft with a branch. If you have a branch. All, all, one particular tree, let's say it's an apple tree. All the apple trees died by some disease. 
but someone preserves a branch of the apple tree, you can build upon that. Or let's say you have one tree left and you have the, a branch from the apple tree. You can bring back apple, apple trees. Root, what is a root? When you chop down a tree and you don't uproot it, guess what? The tree grows back. So when you, if you're going to build a house in a forest, you got to chop down all the trees and you'd be a damn fool if you don't root the trees up because those trees are going to grow up right in your house. So what is this talking about? The day, that, the day shall come that shall burn as an oven. Revelation 18. Isaiah 34. I'm sorry. Yeah, Isaiah 34. Isaiah 13, any script, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 51, Revel, all throughout Revelation, uh, Second Ezra, uh, chapter 16, Second Ezra, chapter 4, 13, and the list goes on and on. The day that the day behold for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And back then, I'm not talking about the, the oven that you can only put up to five on. I'm talking about a real oven from the ancient world. That may take you two seconds to make to make um he uh, cook bread. This is talking about Babylon the Great folks, the US of A. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about the whole planet. This is why the focus should be on America. You have, you know, Bishop Nathaniel, you know, this Passover, we went to multiple places around the world. No, your focus is supposed to be on America. Not no goddamn Africa. It ain't nothing panning out. Now you're not so much committing to sin when you do that, but the, but the, what did the what did uh, the Lord tell the, the apostles in Acts one, around about the fifth sixth verse? It said, "You shall speak uh, not too many words. You shall speak or prophesy in Jerusalem and Judea, and unto the uttermost part of the earth." What did that mean? The other side of the earth. I always bring that up. That's talking about the uh, the West. It's talking about America. So three major places they're going to be preaching. Jerusalem, Judea, and the uttermost part of the earth, which is America. Not Canada so much, even though you got people in Canada, brothers in Canada, IUIC, GMS, maybe some other camps in Canada. And you got South America. You don't got no major camps down there in South America. The major camps are here in America because that's where the focus is. Because this is the place the day coming that shall burn as an oven. Not a, not Africa. Africa's not going to burn. The continent of Africa is not going to burn as an oven. So before this happens, Elijah have to come. So Elijah would have to be Abba Bivens. So let me come back to it. And see, this is why uh, Vocab Malone can't get it. All you got to do is read Daniel 12 and 10. He can't get it. But, but the wicked will not understand. So let's listen. That his student said this about him, but that he himself didn't even agree. Tahar of GMS even claimed. I'm glad you said that. That he himself, they, his students told him that he was uh, Elijah coming back and he didn't agree. Okay, well, let's, let's do this. I believe that's St. John 3. If I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive. 
No, 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 no. It gotta be two. Two. Let's try two. I'm sorry, let's, let's, uh, bear me for a minute. Let's try one. Okay. The witness, John. Bear me for a minute. Okay, it has to be here. Okay, I found it. I, f I found it. Be bear with me. Okay, this is uh, St. John 1, verse 19, the testimony of John. I'm going to go right to the point. Okay, this is the record of John when the Jews sent uh, priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? Because they said, could this be Elijah? They wasn't sure whether this was Elijah or this was the Messiah. And he, and he confessed and denied not, but I confess I am not the Messiah. Because they were, they were saying, is this the Messiah? And mind you, the Messiah was already born. He was a grown man. He was beginning his ministry. He was getting ready to bring those Apostles, the uh, disciples together. After the death of uh, Elijah, there were three disciples of uh, Elijah: James, John, James, and um, Andrew, the brother of uh, Peter. And it was Andrew that led Peter into the ministry. So these three were were. Uh, Disciples of John. Then they became disciples of the Mo of the Yahweh Shai. And they asked him, "What then art thou, Elias or Elijah?" And he saith, "I am not. Art thou that prophet?" And he answered, "No." But he was. So guess what? Vocab. He said the same thing when the students say you you Elijah and he said no well, guess what back 2000 some odd years ago when they when they asked him whether he was uh, Elijah he said no why did he say no when he was Abba and why did he say no when he was John because he didn't know and Matthew's 11 Yahweh Shai knew more than than uh, John knew because he was the Messiah. And he said, so you can understand, this is this is Elijah, which is forth to come, not, not Bishop Nate on a horse. So let me bring this back. Let me bring this back to 15 again. Short, reincarnation is a pagan, not biblical idea. Another verse to consider here is Matthew 11, 
verse 11. Let me read it to you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Now, I'm really not sure if that verse would make a lot of sense if John the Baptist had already been born before, and in fact, been born again and again and again. Because remember, one Western reincarnationists aren't claiming John is If you notice, he went to Matthews 11, 11, but he failed to read the, the next verse or the next two, three verses. Because that would have cut him. He would have cut himself. Where you want me to start cutting? Okay, if you, uh, John uh, the Baptist, uh, understanding, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violent. The kingdom of heaven are the, Is are the Israelites. How do we prove that? What is that? Luke 17, around about the 20th verse, that the kingdom of heaven is in within you. He was talking to them wicked scribes and Pharisees because they're going to be a part of the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent, which are the Romans, take it by force. That's why when the Lord, our Lord, went into the temple and read out of the Torah, we read Isaiah 61, and it said in so not too many words that I come to to uh, deliver you. So they knew that they were under the clutches of uh, the Roman Empire. So they were saying, well, he does all these miracles. He's a Messiah. So we're gonna, the kingdom's going to come in our lifetime. They didn't understand that there was a second leg to the Roman Empire, Revelation chapter 13. So the violent take it by force is uh, the, Roman, uh, the, Ro the Roman armies taking it over and making it a province for all the prophets and the Lord prophesied until John and if you will receive it this is Elias or Elijah which is for to come how can what, what what can you get out of this he's talking about John and he says and if ye will receive it or if ye can receive it this is Elias or Elijah which is forth to come so you, you, you stopped that, you read the 11th verse and then you jumped to something else. You being Slick, I'm Slick Willie. It's your new name, Slick Willie. So now let's go, let's see what the NLT says about that. Okay, this is the NLT. Let me go to 14. I may jump back up to the 11th. And if you are willing to accept what I say, he, he is Elijah. The one the prophet said would come. Ooh, wait. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. He's talking about John, right? And he's saying, if you are willing to accept what I say, he is Elijah, the one the prophet said would come. Isaiah said it, and Malachi said it. Isaiah said, he called, he called him one crying in the wilderness, pre pre wilderness, preparing the way. And John said, then who are you then? He said, I am one crying in the wilderness. I believe he said that. So that was the fulfillment of uh, Elijah coming back. So I can close, close the book, close the book, close the book. Inside joke. So let's listen to, to some more of this madness. Only Elijah. They are appealing to that situation, of course, as a proof text for reincarnation, though, 
in principle. They believe that John would have actually been multiple people reincarnated, not only Elijah. In fact, it's said that the founder of One West, 1969 is the date that happened, commonly called Abba Bivens, as he neared his death, his students received a revelation that Bivens himself was John and therefore Elijah reincarnated. Interestingly enough, it's said that his students said this about him, but that he himself didn't even agree. Tahar of GMS even claims that he knew this in his spirit because he once remarked that a picture of Bivens hanging on the school's wall must have looked like Elijah. Tahar claims his teacher, Arya, so this is confirmation. Let's come back to that. Let's come back to that. And that is true. When I went to the school, maybe the second week, maybe the second weekend, you had a lot of pictures on the walls in the school, a little small school. And I remember seeing, no one told me who this man was. This guy has all the pictures, by the way. Um, matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let me do this. Let me do this right over here. Oh, by the way, if you go to the depth clock, they have a window, a secret window. And look what they're saying. System reset, silver 200, silver 211, silver 223, suspended, system reset. AG is uh, silver 47 on the peri periodic, what is that, the, uh, how do you say it, the, the periodic table of elements, I remember that in school, right? many, many moons ago. So what are they telling you? Matter of fact, let me do this. See if it comes back. Come on now. It's acting up now. Try it again. Okay, so that's your look at that. 34, 34 billion, 34 trillion. It's actually, it's actually two, 200 plus trillion. This is new. This is something that's been added added to this thing. This wasn't here some years ago. Open secret window, and that appears to be a silver coin or, or moon or something. And they change it up every couple of months. System reset. Silver revaluation. And when you see this, like if you watch these financial-based news shows, like uh, like Bloomberg or uh, CNBC, even um, Yahoo Finance, they'll give you the tick ticker tape at the at the bottom of the screen, and they'll give you the price of the different stocks. Then they'll give you the price of gold. Did it go up? How much did it go up? How much did it go down? Now in the last couple of days, within the last, not even a week, maybe a week, a week ago, gold had jumped up per ounce. Had jumped. I'm going to get back into the subject. Gold had jumped up from, um, it, it, I believe it was, 2,000, a little under 2,000, and it jumped up to 2,400. And then within the last, not even a week, it, it plummeted back down from 2,400. It plummeted like almost $100. And I don't know why that happened. I don't know behind the scenes. You can't really know when, price, when gold prices and silver prices go up or down and dramatically, you know, dropping 90 to almost $100 a jump like that, uh, you can only kind of speculate and you got to kind of feel, you got to kind of, you know, 
have a gut feeling about it. And that, you know, shook a lot of people. Oh, I'm not going to buy silver and gold no ever again. The hell with this shit. I'm buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin, you're going to lose in the Bitcoin. In my opinion, I don't know that much about Bitcoin. Uh, so anyway, let's get back into this. But there it is. System reset. The system reset means the money's going to be... Re everything's going to go back to CBDC. Silver 200. Silver, right now, if I looked at it, silver should be... Let me go to the gold price. I'm getting. I'm gonna get back in the subject. Okay, let me let me refresh this. Okay, so it's two. It's two. Uh, two thousand three hundred forty-nine. Let me do this. Let me go a month, a month back. It was two thousand two hundred and twelve. This is uh, this is like April first, and then it went from here to uh, see over to two thousand uh, four hundred two thousand four hundred thirteen. Then it dropped. Wait a minute. 2,413.2 talking about like $90 it's a drop and silver if you go to silver let me see something I don't want to go into silver but you can go into it yourself Silver is somewhere around about twenty between twenty seven dollars and thirty thirty dollars. So that secret window is telling you silver two hundred, silver two eleven, silver two thirty three, suspended, silver will be suspended. So when that happens, or if it happens, you know why. So let's get back into this. He knew this in his spirit because he once remarked that a picture of Bivens hanging on the school's wall must have looked like Elijah. Tahar claims his teacher. Well, that's a spiritual thing. You see, see, you're not you're not a spiritual man. You're not a spiritual man. I saw the picture two weeks in, and I said, who is this guy? This guy looks like Elijah. And I didn't even know the, the backstory of Abba. Then they told me, oh, uh, his name is Abba, but he, you know, he, he, he was, a, we believed that he was Elijah coming back. So the fact, wait a minute, I can, oh. <laughs> well, I'm not going to go to it, but, what is that? Matthew is either Matthew 16 or Matthew 18, where the Lord asked Peter, who they say say I am. Some say it's Jeremiah, some say it is. A lot of John Baptist being, you know, resurrected. Then he said, Well, who do you say I am? And Peter said, You are the you know the Messiah. And then he said, Flesh and blood did not reveal it to you, but the spirit the, my father have revealed it to you. So did the father reveal that to me, that this is Elijah, me being in the school for two weeks? You're not spiritual. That's why you can't get it. These theological cemeteries, I call them, they don't know what the hell. There's not one theological cemetery is going to teach you about America being Babylon the Great and it's going to be destroyed by it. None of these churches teach that. Aria. So this is confirmation of the doctrine. So according to one West Hebrew Israelite tradition, 
The man commonly called Abba Bivens was actually John the Baptist and Elijah. And Ariah was Saint John the Revelator. And Meshah was King David, Moses, and Peter. And Tahar may or may not be the Apostle Paul. Now does that mean I'm not Paul? Hey, I could be Paul. The One Westers even teach that Jesus Christ himself is Adam and Solomon reincarnated. One camp, the ICGJC, even claimed their leader, Tazadakia, who is now deceased, was the God-sent comforter in the flesh. And we know he's not the God-sent comforter because he'd be alive. Number one. Number two, the God-sent comforter, the comforter is not a man. All right? He said, and it better not be a man. That's what he said. The, the comforter is the is the spirit that comes with the scriptures. I shall come, I shall, what did, what did our Lord say? It mentioned in, uh, spoken about the comforter in St. John 14 and St. John 16. And one of the passages, either 14 or, or 16, it says, um, he said, I shall come to you. I shall not leave you comfort, comfortless. I shall come to, I shall come to you. So who is the comforter? The spirit of Yahweh Shai. How did how did the Apostle Paul know all these deep sayings and understanding these scriptures? Where Peter said that some of, some of uh, Paul's writings was hard to be understood. In other words, he Peter was saying Paul was deep. He's deeper than me, because Yahweh was dealing with him directly in the spirit. So that's 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 the Comforter. The Apostle Paul was comforted by the Comforter which is the spirit that, that actually the books wasn't even written. Those letters were, in, in, you know, give it inspired. Inspired means to breathe in. He breathed into Paul, and Paul wrote those letters. When you go to Ezra, 2nd Ezra is uh, 14. It speaks about Ezra and... Um, Met this, there was a number, I forget the number of men, I'm not going to go to it, that they, the most I put a spirit on them to write, to keep writing these books, and that they had something that looked like water, but it was fire in the water. And it gave them the spirit to write all these things. Same thing with John, the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos in Revelation 10. He he saw a vision, he was bent, began to write, and, they, and the angel said, do not write, do not write. So he saw a vision, but he said, no, nah, don't record it. Because, so, see, that's spiritual, man. See, we're spiritual people. You Edomites, you're not a spiritual people. But the wicked will not understand. You better hope like hell, you a Hamite. A <laughs> light skinned hammer or something. And this guy, he was just a Negro. You know, that that Jude, he's a poster boy for Jude. Uh, Jude, which is one chapter long. Crept in unawares. But I saw him coming, I saw the nigga coming from a mile away, Joker. Another inside joke. Now let's look at John 9, 1 through 3, another passage they use. When the disciples asked, Rabbi, who, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? It does not mean they automatically were assuming the doctrine of reincarnation. Here's the background. Many Jewish thinkers of the day believed birth defects were due to either prenatal or parental sin. They believed that if a woman who was with child worshipped a false god in a pagan temple, then that the unborn baby had actually committed idolatry with her as well. They would use the concept of struggle from Genesis 25-22 as a proof text for this. Or they would also believe that the sins of the parents could be transferred to the child because of their interpretation of Exodus 25, Psalm 109-14, and Isaiah 65, 6-7. Although mistaken, there is evidence in the Talmud and Midrash of these traditions. Note, even if the disciples were actually asking about reincarnation, they wouldn't necessarily be right. The disciples assumed all kinds of wrong things in the Gospels. Besides so I guess our Lord 
uh, Yahweh Shai assume soon all kind of wayward information because he did because he did say that John is Elijah. If you re receive it, this is Elijah, which is forth to come. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna close on this. I don't want to make this long, but you know, got a little long. With that, I'm gonna say shalom. I'm on to the next one. Shalom.